Hey, I'm Alex Rackley from Board Game Co. I'm Professor Meg. And today we are playing through the Dead Keep from Simon Games. Uh, this is a game that's going to be on GameFound. There'll be a pre-order link down below. You can check that out. And before we dive into the gameplay, I should say that uh, there's a whole bunch of pre-order bonuses. That is a big box, Alex. It is a ridiculously big box. It's a little whitewashed because prototype. In fact, everything you see here is a prototype. All rules, components, and all that stuff. Subject exchange. But like I said already, over on the GameFound pre-order page, there are a bunch of pre-order bonuses you can check out if you are interested in getting this game. So there's extras and other extras. And if you get the expansion, because it's also an expansion. There's an extra troll figure monster person as well on top of that. Bunch of things you can check out if you want that. Well, Alex, why would I want to check it out? What is the Dead Keep? The Dead Keep is, well, before we do that, the Dead, we'll answer your question in a second. Also, lastly, this is a sponsored gameplay. <laughs> this is a sponsored gameplay, uh, but we're going to go ahead and dive into the first gameplay over here. It was almost smooth transition. Almost. It almost. was beautiful. It was beautiful. I know, I know. It was great. It was good. You, did, you did perfect. I should have realized. Yeah. And there's also an unboxing on the channel. You can check that out. And there's also a preview you can check out as well. And then maybe. Maybe we'll do another gameplay. Maybe, maybe just maybe if we'll you're see. lucky. They only sponsored one gameplay, but honestly, I kind of want to go through both, and there are two scenarios in the, the rules we have, so like, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Anyways, go ahead and do your smooth segue again. Go ahead. You can do. Well, Alex, why would we want to check out the Dead Keep? What is it? Oh, the Dead Keep. Beautiful transition. The Dead Keep is a dungeon crawling campaign game. Yes, it is a campaign game. If you watched my uh, unboxing, you probably saw I focused on the fact that it's scenario and episodic, and it, uh, you could play one shot, 100% you could, but there also is a campaign mode where you'll go through a sequence of, I believe, 10 adventures, uh, slowly but surely carrying on some degree of artifacts and things that you gather throughout them while having the game level up around you. So there is a degree of progression. There's also single shot mode, but it's effectively a dungeon crawler where you're controlling a, bu a bunch of noble heroes. I believe four to six noble heroes, or more specifically the way the game puts it is there's recommended numbers. And if you try to only control two, you might just die a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, but past that, we have four noble heroes in our scenario over here. We are going to be going through the dungeon crawler goodness. We have an enemy we are facing off against. The dead keep thematically. Should we do the thematics? Thematically speaking, the dead keep is this uh Fighting against trolls. It's a it's a dead keep. It's uh basically a keep where uh, the undead are alive, monsters roam. There is some mysterious patron who has been hiring adventurers to go marauding through the dead keep and bring him back the various magical treasures they find uh to get paid by him. So basically, we're basically risking our entire life for uh getting paid by this this patron. And there's some sense of mystery or something going on. We don't know exactly what's happening there. Uh, but past that, we are wandering off into the dungeon, facing whatever mystical beasts there are. There are a variety of quests we're gonna go through. We'll talk about that in a second. We'll go through the uh, first quest over here. Mm -hmm. There's going to be elevated terrain. There's going to be monsters. If you are familiar with the Zombicide system, there are a lot of similarities to Zombicide and yet a lot of differences as well. But we're going to go through all of that. But let's go ahead and quickly find the start for our quest one special assignment. My character has a dog. He's here. Surprise. The most important thing, of course. Let's read some thematics over here. The dead keep promises so much. Untold wealth, secrets both arcane and dangerous, and even the possibility of raising those you've lost from the dead. Like a lodestone, it brought adventurers to its island for generations. How could it not? Most never came back, but those unfortunate few who do are reduced to mewling madmen. Yet we kept coming, for the keep promises to those seeking the sublime or the profane. Beware, adventurer, for what the keep provides may well become a twisted mockery of your heart's desires. Your loved ones are not the only ones coming back from the dead. More importantly, will it still be the same person that you once knew? The untold riches are in fact real, but they are only given up by the one called the patron. The secrets he holds are enough to fill a library of dusty tomes, but that knowledge could drive even the wisest of mages to the brink of insanity. While the keep has so much to offer, our goal is rather simple. Find the goods the patron seeks and bring them to him. You will need companions, but bring only those you trust with your life, for the keep is a place ripe for betrayal. Steal yourself what is to come. Be prepared, for the keep is harsher than any winter you have ever experienced. Remember, adventure. Remember, adventure always comes at a high price. Embrace it, overcome the keep, and carve your legends into this very realm. And we are playing through Special Assignment. This is going to be the beginning of our campaign. Like I said already, we'll try to get a second campaign in. What are you looking at? This guy's holding a little pig. It is a little pig. You've got a pet too. He's also riding a big He's pig. He's holding a pig. Yeah, he is. Special Assignment. We are invited aboard the patron's lavish ship. He spoke to us in private about an elder troll wreaking havoc and preying on adventurers as they return from their ventures on the island. He wants the troll to be dealt with discreetly. If we can slay this beast and bring back the purse on its belt, we might earn the patron's gratitude. Objectives. Kill the elder troll. That's the guy who meant He's holding. holding the sword by the sharp part. Just to show us just how scary he is. Uh, we have to go ahead and uh, eliminate the elder troll. We have to gather the objectives. These one, two, 
three and four objectives. We have to do so first in order to uh, go ahead and get that. We have as well as that, we have various treasure tokens. These are treasure tokens over here. One, two, three, three, and four. Uh, those are all going to give us either a potion to bring us back to life should we die, or alternatively, a necromantic artifact. We'll talk more about that as well. Uh, past that, we have the tower tile. This is this little... 3D tile over here that has stairs to access from over here. So we can use the stairs to access up here. You can see down from the tower. You cannot see up into the tower. Uh, past that, we have uh, looting is going to give us necromantic artifacts. I think I covered that. Alternatively, it's also going to give us 5 AP, which is going to be how we level up in the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, the boss is going to get a Doom token, which we haven't talked about yet, but those are bad. And then lastly, we cannot open um, the boss door. We cannot... The, the, the boss is going to become active once we open its door, but we cannot hurt him until we've gotten all four objectives. And that is basically what we need to go ahead and start the dead keep. Oh my goodness. Now, we're going to go through some basics over here, and the rest we'll introduce to you as we go through it. But the basic idea is we have our adventurers. Each adventurer has three actions on their turn. The most common actions you're going to see are going to be searching, moving, and uh, opening doors. Searching, moving, opening doors, and fighting. That's the one. The attacking one over there. Uh, you're going to see all that. We'll talk about a lot of things as they come through. What I will say, as I kind of said already, if you are familiar with Zombicide, you'll see some similarities here, but there are a lot of differences as well. We'll get into all of those as we start doing this. Um, and with that, Meg... Do you want to go first or should I? Um, uh, I'm open to you going first. Um, okay. One other thing to note is that we uh, started with different weapons. Yes, we did. So I have Lothar, who's going to be more of our brute, and he started with a flail. I have Archer, who's going to be a bit of a sharpshooter with his monster hunter crossbow. Cool, cool, cool. I got Nut with a Staff of Meteor. This is going to help us take down some of the uh, tougher level difficult baddies. And then we have Theron with our Elven Sword, and he got that from his uh, Elvish friend. Because... He has an elvish friend. So he has an elven Sounds sword. Like he killed an elf. <laughs> How many of them? Uh, anyways, uh, that's basically going to be where we get to start off. Again, so we'll talk about a lot more of this as we go through it. But let's go ahead and start off uh, by taking some actions. So to that end, we're going to start with taking a few actions. I'm going to start by opening a door where the mm -hmm. first bad things will happen. We'll have Theron open the door, and then we're just going to go clockwise from that. Turn order is going to follow clockwise, and we'll go through that. So uh, Theron's going to start. He's going to open the door right next to him because he doesn't see any harm whatsoever in opening this door. So we're going to open the door, which means we're going to flip that over to a side. We're also going to roll a die. On a 1, 2, or 3, we're going to generate a Doom Token. Doom Tokens are bad. We'll explain why soon. We generate a Doom Token. As right. I said, Doom Tokens are bad. That's the first Doom Token. When you get five Doom Tokens, you're going to trade that in for a stage card, which is both a bad thing that will happen, and it's also a full extra life for the boss. Basically, we already have two stage cards to start, which means the boss effectively has three lives because each time you draw a stage card, you uh, resolve the next stage of the boss, and then um, each time you get five Doom Tokens, you make the boss have that many more lives, so that's not good. Mm -hmm. uh, but that, with that said, we also have to go ahead and spawn now. Now, we opened a building over here. That's going to be one, two, three, and four zones all connected over here. These connect the two zones. Lovely. We're going to draw from our building zone card over here because that's the building. We have spawning in the streets, which will happen at the end of the round. We have spawning in buildings. So we're going to spawn for our first zone over here, and we're spawning two footmen in the basic zone right next to us. So we have our first two enemies spawning over there. We're spawning two because we are on the blue level over here. Uh, footmen are going to be one damage to kill them, one health to kill them, and they attack once dealing one damage. That's going to be the way you read enemy cards. That's already different. Notice the fact that attacking once dealing one damage. Uh, enemies in this game can attack multiple times dealing multiple amounts of damage. <laughs> also, the good news is unlike Zombicide, we don't have like say three health or whatnot. We have a full 10 health because we're going to need it. <laughs> Spawning into the next zone over here, we have our next card. It's going to be, ooh, undead, footmen in the mist. So right now we're going to spawn in each mist zone. Now the way that works is you only spawn in uh, areas that have survivors right now. So we're going to spawn one adventurer in the mist zone on any tile that we have. So this tile has adventurers, so we spawn here. If this tile had adventurers, we would spawn more. Basically, the more spread out you are when those mist mm. cards got, get drawn, the worse it is. But right now, we only drew one mist zone. But in each mist zone, means we need, still need two because there are two mist zones over here. So we're going to go there, and then we're going to go for the next tile over here. So the next tile is going to be this one. We have Shadow Guards. Shadow Guards are going to be Strength 2. It's going to take a, a Strength 2 weapon to defeat them, which currently Nut is the only person who has that. Yikes. And we're going to be spawning one of them. That's going to be I one of these big guys. Them. And they uh, deal two, they attack twice, dealing two damage each. Basically, if a Shadow Guard is in your spot, he can deal up to four wounds on his activation, because two attacks, two damage each, which is not great. Good thing that is coming up. Yeah, and then last that we have over here, we have this zone. We're going to have another Shadow Guard spawning once more into the breach, dear friends. Uh, we're going to have that, and that's going to be our enemies that have all spawned, at least for right now. Now, now I believe my character Archer has a reaction that I can now attack the ones that have spawned. Do you have the range? Oh, you could. You could do it twice. 
Yes. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about abilities over here. But first, before we do that, note that we have building zone one on these cards. As you go through the cards, you get to building two and building three. They're going to get progressively stronger, not just as we level up in the game, but uh, even as just time passes in the game. But now let's get to talk about your ability, your ability. Each of the characters has their own default ability. If you've played Zombicide and Dead or Alive, this will be familiar to you. It has a class ability effectively in addition to the regular abilities you have. Mm -hmm. And Archer has the ability duos, which means you get to go ahead and attack things uh, that spawn within your range. Yes. So am I able to attack all four of them? Uh, not this one because that's the line of sight around the corner. Okay. So you could attack these two and then this one. You get right. one attack per spawn card. So it's actually interesting, by the way. Had you been uh, over here, let's say, you only get one attack, one free attack per spawn card, so you'd have to have chosen which zone either mm. way. But for right now, go ahead and choose which zone you're attacking. All right, so I'll do this one first. Okay. And so you're rolling your die over there. You have two dice on a hit on a four plus, Ooh. and you missed, no. unfortunately. And you can attack again. All right, and now I attack here. Come. Yes. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have rolled two. Well, it was Why a four not? and a five. Why not? Oh, you're right. Yep, you're right. <laughs> so you kill that guy, he's dead. Uh, you get Beautiful. one AP, uh, one advancement point for each wound you ever deal. So whenever characters require more than one wound, speaking of which, oh my gosh, the Shadow Guards also require two wounds. Wow, they're really bad. Yeah, these are not these Gross. are not the brutes that you're used to from Zombicide. These guys are much worse. But you did get an AP, we killed one baddie, you mm -hmm. killed one baddie. There's no we in this. There's no there's no I in team. Yay. But there is a me. Um, and anyway, that was just a reaction. That was just a reaction. I've only done one action. This has been the they first action of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But with that, I think it's time to uh, wander in and start killing things because I really want Nut to have the ability to attack that that giant, the Shadow Guard. So we're gonna go ahead and have uh, three run. So then the second action is going to be walking into the zone, and his third action he's going to attack. Now he can roll two dice on a three plus. The problem with that is I don't know if I'm confident enough that that's enough to kill them. So I'm gonna use my ability, which is Smash, where I can use uh, my default ability for class ability. It means I could spend mana, which again another new thing over here, something that you can refill from the various pools of mana around the board. I'm gonna spend mana to go ahead and add one more. Do I want to play it safe? I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna spend two mana. I'm really playing the safe because I have a three plus, but I, I don't want to take any chances. I'm going to roll four dice because my default weapon over here is an elven sword, a range zero, two dice on a three plus. I spend two mana using my ability. I can do that once per turn, and I'm going to power it up to roll four dice on a three plus. And wow, okay. that wasn't enough even then. Yeah. That really wasn't enough. So we are going to kill one of these baddies so close, though. and get one AP, and that was unfortunately my third action, so um, I don't have any more actions to take right now. All right. So... That was uh, Theron's ability. So again, despite the abundance of mana that I spent, and I just dropped a mana token, which I'll have to get later, but uh, despite the abundance of mana that I spent that I thought was overkill, I rolled poorly. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. We're going to go ahead. The good news Yikes. is I have, I have Iron Hide, which we haven't talked about. But that basically I can potentially withstand an attack from them. Potentially. After missing that hard, do you feel like you want to hide right now? Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate Nut. Nut is going to go ahead and walk one forward. He's going to walk into this zone over here, at which point he's going to shoot at a range two. This is one, two over here, using his weapon, his Staff of Meteor, and he's going to be trying to attack this guy. I do have a Strength two over here, Armor Penetration of two, which means I could hit him, but I'm only rolling two dice right now on a five plus, and those odds are not the best. So I will use my ability where I can power up magic attacks using mana. So I'm going to go ahead. I have extra mana for some reason, so I'm going to go ahead and spend some of this over here. I will spend three mana because I have a, I hit on a five plus. So I'm going to spend three mana, rolling three extra dice, trying to kill that guy. Um, again, I don't think this is going great, but well, well, we're going to go ahead and do this over here. And I got one wound, one wound against him right now. So that's enough to uh, deal one singular wound to this guy. Uh, he takes two wounds to kill. I do get an AP for every wound you deal. So we've made some progress against him. Now keep in mind that was attack one. I was say, you can attack again, right? I could attack again. Now the alternative is I could attack my own person in this zone. The tricky part is if you have a miss uh, when you're doing a ranged attack. And you're the only one that can attack him. Whereas I have a lot of fighting coming up. Like, yeah. I feel like it's... I'm going to attack this guy over here. Yeah. I'll spend another mana. I'm going to have to power up later. I'm going to spend another mana to roll three dice over here. Hoping for a single five or six over here. And we got a five. Beautiful. I'm also knocking doors all over the place. I should probably find a better way to roll dice here. But we're going to kill this guy. That's going to kill him. So the Shadow Guard is done, which is great because they're a little scary. I get another AP, and he's taken out. So that is is done. We should play this game with AP. Speaking of AP. All right. Maybe game two. Yeah, that's all of your actions? That's my actions. I've done three actions. I uh, moved, attacked, attacked. And uh, right now I'm just sitting there waiting to hopefully not die from this stupid zombie in my zone. Not zombie. Not zombie. They are... Footmen. 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 They're undead. They're so undead footmen. Close enough. So, Lothar here yep. can taunt. 
Oh, you can absolutely use that. Is that all enemies? All enemies within one zone with a line of sight. So just the one in the room. If you target that zone, you'll pull Lothar towards you, at which point you could smash his head in. That's a fair way of doing it. The thing I'm thinking, though, is um, I'm worried about... Uh, I'm wondering if I should send Lothar out to kill this one and use Archer to kill the other one. So if Archer shoots into the zone and misses the zombie, it will hit me. Whereas you, a melee attack doesn't? Melee attacks don't have that risk. But whenever there is almost friendly fire, whenever you miss on a ranged attack, if there's friendly people in the zone, it hits them instead. You never hit the wall behind them. It's either the enemy or your friends. All right. I will taunt and pull him toward me. Beautiful. I appreciate that that choice. And that's an action, correct? That is not an action. That's taunt not is a an Phoebe. Action? Oh, oh. I'm 99% sure well, of this. I, I believe it just says that. once per turn. Once per turn. I don't spend, think that's Oh, it. no. It does. Wait, that's not, that's not taunt. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my... That's bloodlust. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. You still, you're still good. All right, so I will. You could taunt one and blood us the other. That's what I was thinking. Oh, beautiful! I thought it was an action. All right, so then I will attack with my flail, which is two dice, and on a four plus I succeeded, but it yep. does escalate. You so I got one success, and now if I use my flail again, on anywhere this else? turn, yes. Okay, so then I will use my um ability, my bloodlust ability. And it's, I believe it's an action, not a free action. Once per turn, spend one action. All right, so I've attacked once. Yes. Then I'll spend my second action to move up to two and attack. One, Beautiful. two, okay. and attack. And now you get to roll three dice. He is the mountain. Because you have escalation. So your ability is escalation. Every time you roll dice on the same turn, you roll one extra dice, and you kill a guy because you just did five. So uh, that guy's going to be another guy dead. And once more on this little action And now chapter. we get a loot token. Oh, oh my gosh, you are, you are, okay, we've been doing things wrong here. Good catch, because there should be several loot tokens right now. Should I be at two or three? You should be at two, because you killed the second one. So, a few things happen. Whenever the last enemy of a type dies in a zone, you put a loot token in the zone. So we should have one loot token there, we should have one loot token here, one loot token here, and one loot token here. Now you can search in those zones. Once we run out of loot tokens, we will be able to put, we'll be able to move old loot tokens around. You only have five of them. Are all you sure they were, okay. You killed them with uh, Archer. Archer shot into the zone, remember? With a re reaction attack. Okay. Whenever the last enemy of a type is killed in a zone, you put a loot token down. That's the only place you can search. Again, if you're familiar with Zombicide rules, you cannot search in buildings. You only search where there are loot tokens. Although, they will spawn shambling zombies that will try to kill you. So there is that. Alright, so I attacked, I did Bloodlust, and now I can do a third action. You attacked, you taunted, attacked, Bloodlust, bloodlust and attacked. Well, no, Bloodlust is in the attack. It's move and attack altogether. You're right. It's move two attack. You have a third action. action. All right, so I could search. You absolutely can. But I could also play it safe and just move somewhere or something. Up to you. Because it's likely things will show up in the mist. Well, so the thing we do we want to be careful of, which honestly I probably should have been more careful of, is these two are the spawn points. And we have to get this to win. So the longer we wait on these guys, the more this is going to be something we're fighting against the whole time. Mm -hmm. So we really should get here as fast as possible. Yeah. I probably screwed that up already. I feel like Archer can search now, now that there's not as many enemies present. So I'll just move one more this way to get okay. him closer. Beautiful. Now. I appreciate that because I probably tactically screwed up already. All right. So that's his entire turn. Okay. And now Archer can search, move, search. Yeah, that's a possibility. Archer has the ability to search twice, uh, search drawing two cards with one action. All right. So I'll do that. So I'll... Search in the area that I'm in okay. first. Draw two cards to the Necromantic Equipment deck. Basically, the bad guys have died. Uh, did you just draw a crawler already? Yeah. You still draw the second card? Okay. Hopefully, it's not another crawler. Beautiful. You got a Worm Slayer. <gasps> That's great for me. So, you have a Worm Slayer crossbow. Whenever you draw new weapons, you can rearrange your inventory. And we have a crawler that popped out. Now, a few things happen here. First of all, crawler pops out over here. Uh, second thing is that happened is we're going to go ahead and add a Doom token to uh, whenever the crawlers pop out, we add a Doom token. And then lastly, uh, yeah, plus one Doom token over there. And then lastly, we remove this token. So Crawlers represent the uh, ending of the search, but they also add Doom tokens to the boss whenever they pop out. So uh, that's not great. Uh, it's going to be one health, one attack, one health, sorry, one strength, one health, one attack, one damage. Replace the search token with a Crawler in the area of the search. Now, I will say we only have a single Crawler miniature. So if we draw a second Crawler, we're just going to move the old Crawler. I believe there's supposed to be more than one, but our prototype only has one. So um, even though these cards can be more prevalent. Okay. So that's going to be that, and um, you can now deal with that because you have two actions left. So 
If I move away, yes. will he attack me? If you move away from an enemy, you have to spend an extra action per enemy in the zone. So it'll cost you two actions to move away. But he but will I not attack you. But I cannot attack him, right? You could attack him. Oh, uh, you cannot attack him. You are correct. You cannot attack him. I guess I'll just move out. Yeah. That's going to be both actions to a slide away, unfortunately. Poor Archer. He got, he got boned his first turn. Yeah. I mean, right. I don't know what the ratio of uh, shambling crawlers are in that deck, but it's not going to be the best. Yeah. Anyways, that represents our first round. Our first round's over. We're going to go ahead and go through the enemy phase where we're going to activate any enemies and then spawn new ones. So this enemy is going to go ahead and move one towards us. This enemy is going to move one. Oh, we can actually choose where they go. Do you have any preference? Should I just have them go this way so you can head that way and do stuff? Sure, yeah. Great. That probably makes sense. So we're going to have them go over here and do that. Uh, basically, we can choose. They're always going to go to the, the closest enemies. Another thing, and again, different systems on the side to side. Uh, they will not actually deal with anything to do with line of sight or whatnot. It's always going to the closest enemy, whether or not they can see them. Um, and if there's a tie, you can choose. And then we're going to he spawn. Moved? He did move. Oh, okay. ready. Then we're going to spawn, starting with the spawn point over here. We spawn from he the street card. Crazy. They are a little crazy. Weapons. We're going to put a footman in the mist. Spawn in each mist zone again. So we're going to again pop up over here and pop up over here. Uh, okay, that's going to be that. Then we're going to spawn the next one. That's going to be for here. Uh, we're going to do a monster. The miniature pops out. Do you have oh the miniature? Oh my gosh. If you don't, oh, I, don't I, have, I, have. I have the miniature. Wow, he's big. I don't oh, I don't think he should show up. This is the easy mode. For I don't think he should show up. Uh, he's he, so large. He is a two health creature. Uh, sorry, two military, two strength, so you can't hurt him without a two strength weapon. He is, uh, do you have one now? No, no. you don't. No. Oh, you sort of do. We're going to show people some things. We're going to show some people. We have a three health on him, and he attacks twice, doing five damage with each hit. We're going to leave this card uh, somewhere fun to remember that he's in play. <sighs> Uh, then we're going to spawn for this zone before we talk about some things we need to show you. And we have a horseman. Ooh, horsemen over here. They are also two health. They also require a strength two weapon. They uh, also deal two damage and two, and they get two actions per activation. So right about now, if you're enjoying this game a bit more, because I certainly am, uh, would you like to pass me the special abilities page? I believe I get to attack him. You actually get to attack either of them. I don't think I can. You get to attack that one. You're not wrong. Because of the range. Yeah, the range. She has a range 1 to 2 weapon, not a range 0 weapon. So you get a free attack against that guy. Got him. Got him. He's dead. His spawn token pops in his zone. There's already a one there, so we can ignore that. All right, and you want this? Uh, Yes, and you get one AP. Don't forget yes. that. Now, we have the troll popped out. That's not true. The minotaur popped out. The minotaur is on here or not? He's not on here. Hmm. Now, you think he has a special ability? You know what? The good news is I made sure to have this handy dandy sheet of all these fun things over here. He may not have a special ability, but let me just double check. He may not. I feel like he probably doesn't. I Miniature. Feel like he... Miniatures have no special rules. <laughs> they're just really ridiculously scary. Yeah, they're really scary. Okay. Now, speaking of which, we have... What am I doing over here? We have the miniature. So, two things. So, um, not two things. One thing. One thing is two things. We cover the miniature. Let's go ahead and show people the miniature, because why not No, over you here. wanted to show what my yeah. thing did. Well, I want to show the miniature right now. That's going to be this guy over here. Look at that guy. Yeah, that's the guy we're dealing off, facing off against. But also, you have this Worm Slayer card over here. Now, the way this card works, I'll show you this one over here. There's going to be a little magical line on it. So the way this card works, let's get them light in there. Let's show that uh, in a second. It's too mostly... Much table. It doesn't like to... Uh, it's almost sort of there we go so that line over here that means you can spend mana to improve the attributes of that card so when you have this line you can spend a mana and you get improved dice rolling more dice and extra strength I didn't under I like that yeah it's a new concept that's the, the whole mana pool over here there's a mana pool don't forget by the way you can spend an action to refill mana from this mana pool now that and you're does in it. it bump it just by one it or? bumps it to uh, the, the, so you get one die to three dice and one one penetration to two penetration it just changes the stats shown. So you still have one for to two one range. For one mana? For one mana. Yep. Each time you attack. Every time you attack. You enjoying this? Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I thought you had to spend a three and two. No. No, no, no. So you're going to roll three. When you power up your attack, you'll roll three dice and you'll be able to do what's called. So that's good because this guy, this guy has three health. I can kill him. I can kill him. Yeah. Oh, let's, I can do it. Let's I'm be that so... confident. Anyways, we're done. It's back to our turn. Uh, although I went first, and so now Nut is going to activate first this time round. So now Nut's activating first. I think the most important thing to do is to shoot this guy over here. Uh, Nut is basically all out of um, all out of mana. We need more mana for Nut over here. Poor Nut. Uh, Nut's going to spend one mana and attack the first time. Can I have three dice over here? So we're going to roll three dice uh, on a five plus attacking that guy. We got one hit. We're going to attack again. We got nothing, and we're going to attack a third time. 
and we got a hit. Wow. So it's going to be 2 AP, so we're going to bump up to 4 AP. We need to be careful there. That is going to kill him and drop a loot token in his zone, although there Beautiful. already is one over there. And that is Nut's entire turn. That was his entire goal, which means, I believe... Oh, I have a free gather mana action. Ooh. That's my level 1 ability. Did you start with Nut this turn? Uh, did I start with Nut? Yes, because uh, turn order, the, 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 the turn order thing's going to pass each time. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Although, depending on which version of a game you're playing, it might be the player by player. I think it's actually player by player, but I usually do I usually do character by character. It's easier to remember that. There might be some small things that are not hunched and perfect in the rules. Anything that's important enough, I'll try to include a pinned comment, but we should be getting most of this right. All right, is it Lothar? Lothar? Okay, so I will have him attack with his flail. Okay. That oh, was not no. the best attack. All right, I'll have him attack again. That's a dead zombie right there. And one AP for you. Footman. Footman. That is a hard one. <laughs> I can do it if you want. It's a hard one. It's I got a it, I got it. prototype stuff. All right. And then I think... I'll move him forward one. Okay. He's strong. All right. I am afraid of this. Minotaur. You should be. All right, I'm gonna have Archer uh, search first again. <laughs> okay. As if I think that's a good idea. So we have a ghoul splitter and a wailing flail. So these are ones that you can buff again, which is actually great. Um. This mana flowing through the the keep, the energy of the keep. Do I get to keep both? Uh, you should be able to keep both. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. He, he absolutely. holds them in like his bag or whatever. Yep. All right. So I had him search. Here's this token. Perfect. And then I think I'm gonna have him move, and trade with Balthar, or Lothar, okay. um, to give him. I might as well give him both of these because well, actually, he should have a one range thing. All right. So let's do this. We'll give. Now, you do want to pay attention. Some weapons will have two hand symbols on them. Right now, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, that's your body armor slot. You want to put them into your um, sure. backpack. Yeah. Well, I thought it was easier for people to see. That's the only reason. Mm. If you wanted, you know. Um, and then... Can I do this? I now, trading is an action. Yep. Okay. I searched, moved, traded. Beautiful. And that's... That's your turn. Yep. So Time now for it's on Archer. Oh, no, you did, oh, you did Lothar and Archer. Oh, wow. So we're playing it uh, fast and well, loose with ready. this Minotaur. Well, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Yeah, that's the thing. I need thing. him to come oh, this in range. I have range Just over here. Oh, he would be there? Yeah. I mean, you're still fine for now-ish, probably. He can only move one. Okay. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, time for Theron to take his turn. Theron's going to go ahead and attack the person in his zone. He's going to roll two dice on a three plus. Which we should be fine. We got a four and a five. That guy's dead. The crawler, shambling crawler's dead. Theron goes up one. Now here's the tricky part because, who boy. I don't think I'm ready to power up just yet. Because if we power up, we're escalating to the next tier. Mm -hmm. So I think, because yeah, I think, I think we're going to hold off one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk one. I'm going to walk a single one. And then I'm going to give it my last action to do nothing. Because I think I'm going to grab this next turn. When next turn, taking that will... Because that, when you get five experience, you take an objective. Mm -hmm. And so this could be a way we could stand one more turn without leveling up to the next tier. Now, unlike traditional, again, if you are someone who's used to trying to play that Zombicide game, keep in mind that uh, you are escalating through different tiers of enemies regardless. So you can't pace things out forever because there's another timer on you. Mm -hmm. And that's the round. Which means bad guys activate. Shall we activate them? Sure. Bad guy goes ahead and goes... Bwomp. Then this guy goes two actions, one, two, hey. and uh, currently we're sort of still in control. Everything's great. Ish. Everything's great. Everything's great. great. I'm actually it's not great. worried. No, I can't no. have three times in a row. We're going to start spawning. We're going to start spawning over here in this zone. We are going to spawn. We have a footman. Two footmen are spawning in this zone. So they're going to start marching towards us in a whole different way. That goes away to our street deck over here. Then we're going to spawn in this one zone over here. We have, ooh, mist burn. Each survivor standing in a mist zone gains two mana, then takes a wound. 
Okay, yeah. so a little bit of burning over there. And then lastly in this zone, because you have no one in the mist, mm -hmm. we have a Swamp Troll. So can we grab the Swamp Troll and pop him out? We got another monster. He is a one health to kill, so one armor penetration. He's got seven health though. He does one attack, dealing five wounds. And he regenerates, which basically means uh, he regenerates three, uh, three wounds at the end of each survivor's turn. You like this There's one? a lot going on on my side. <laughs> no, we got this, we got this. I mean, you got this. Alright, yeah. about everything? At the end of each turn, they heal up to three wounds, uh, although there are weapons that have a no regeneration ability. But yeah, yeah, do you need help? Do you need help? Because I got, I think you need help. I'll come, I'll I'm, come. I honestly feel like I've got this. We're going to start with my characters right yeah, now. Yeah, Lothar's going to start. Start. We're going to go ahead and start the game. Go ahead. Lo uh, not the game, the game uh, started. Do I have to start with Lothar? You do have to start with Lothar. And again, it's possibly supposed to be passing first player from per player to player and not character to character. I always like doing character to character because otherwise it feels like if you were playing a four player game, you would do from each person. So like, why why change it? But I think they do it for simplicity, but I'm um, right. like going that way. I'm going to use my bloodlust action. Now remember, walking away from him will take two actions. Yep. I'll use my bloodlust action to move in and attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're... I'm going to use this Wailing Flail okay. and pay a mana so okay, that it beautiful. can now hurt him. Sounds like a beautiful plan. I'm rolling four dice. On a five plus. On a five plus it hits. Okay. That's one, one. hit. You okay. can do it again, paying mana again. How much health do we have again? He has three wounds, three health. Oh, okay, you, did, okay. you did the first okay. one. All right. So now I'll attack again. Okay. And I'll make myself stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. So I was close. like, what is that going to be? I know. All right, wound. so that's two. You can do it one more time if you want. And I'll attack one more time. Four dice. Hope you do it. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Kill them. Okay. Also, fun fact, it says mist affinity. Oh. If you are standing in mist, you do not have to spend the mana. Whoa. That's really cool to know. That's cool. All right, so I killed him. He's dead. And uh, how much is he? You did three wounds, so uh, this guy's going to go off to the side over here. His card's going to go into the discard pile. Uh, keep in mind, they're going to probably come back later, but right now that was three AP for you. You just level up three AP. All right, I'm at six with him now. Beautiful. Okay. And then for my final trick, since it's a free action, I'm going to taunt this guy into here. Okay. So that he's now in line of sight. Uh, the only thing I would consider there is if you don't use, if you used a ranged weapon, don't forget, misses will hit you. That is true, but I could move in and use the... You absolutely can. I don't miss. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what's better? What's better? To move in and do melee, or to... You'd be rolling three this dice on a... This is actually better, easier to succeed. Three dice on so. a three plus, yeah. All right. All right, so I will do that. Okay. Should the Minotaur have left a loot? No. No. Weird. The Minotaur instead gives you a necromantic artifact. Oh, okay. Even better. So do I just draw one? You just draw a necromantic artifact. I was like, that stinks. Now I'm happy. Actually, so... technically, I think you have this over here. I believe you have that here, and you might spend an action to pick it up. You may have spent an action to pick it up. Well, I just read it and I'm really excited. Well, put it back down until we verify that how that works. Well, but I it's think it's still going to be mine. It's going to be yours probably, but let's just give it a second to uh, validate this. If anyone takes this from me. They drop precious necromantic artifacts. I don't think it actually clarifies, but we have those tokens and I believe those tokens are, I think like you have ones. to, yeah, I think you have to pick it okay. up. Okay, 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 okay. I can deal with that. Okay. All right, so now it's Arter's turn? Yes, indeed. Okay, for Arter, I'm going to... His only ability is when people show up, right? Yes. All right, so I will have him... The thing is, I could have him attack three times or twice, you know? How much health does this guy have? The horse? Two. Uh, has two, two health, I believe. Yep. All right. Horseman, two health. I'll move in. Beautiful. Oops. And... I will attack with the Ghoul Splitter, so I have to spend a mana. Pay the iron cost. I get to roll three dice, and on, on three threes, plus. I succeed, so this should be easy. Oh, I killed him! as you can get. And he drops a loot? He's going to drop a loot token that you can now search the zone. I will search this. Okay, that's going to be two cards. Or does cards. it search both? Uh, so, I'm not 100% clear on this one. I would say, no, no, you don't get two iron recommended artifacts. You get one. You get one. Let's be, let's be reasonable here. Um, 
And then over here, you would draw two. All right, yeah, I'll draw two. So it's this one? Yeah. So two from there, and the, that equipment still still in play. So this will leave? Yep. No, that will not leave. It stays in play until a shambler is drawn. Oh, wow. A crawler. Okay. So we got a Twilight Anvil and a Flaming Longsword. Oh, no regeneration means whoever gets hit with that does not regenerate their, their wounds. That's beautiful. Yeah. All right, great. So I'll have okay. to hold on to these. I think what he's currently holding is best for him right now. Okay. Regeneration basically stops them from regenerating across all players' turns until the full end phase. So it lasts for the round. All right, so I had him move, attack, and search. He moved, attack. Yeah, you did. You did indeed. Oh, but he, it would be one or two for killing the horse. The what? two wounds, so two. All it's right. per wound that you deal. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Okay, and now we got Theron and Nut to take their turn. Uh, we're going to have uh, Theron to take his first action. He's going to simply spend uh, an action, pick this See, up I over here. I was going to be fine with that Minotaur. And that's going to be five experience, which means you are now leveling up to the next tier. We are now drawing orange cards. Uh-oh. Uh, but uh -oh, now I'm, I'm going to go ahead and draw a Necromantic Artifact, which you also get whenever you draw one of these. So we have a Necromantic Artifact over here. I have a Storm oh. Hammer. The adventure gains shove as long as this weapon is equipped. So we're going to have that over here. That's going to go into my hand. That's what I was so excited to get was the Storm Hammer. You, oh, okay, you knew it was fine. there? Oh, you, oh. I was like, oh, stop we, we could reserve it's that. Okay. No, that was, we saw it on the flat. It makes sense we that saw you would get it. it. It's okay, it's okay. I think that's only fair. It's okay. Uh, that's going to be first action over there. We have two more actions to go, so we're going to go ahead and go one, two to head back, because I think we're trying to head back to uh, support you in this uh, journey. That or was... go up around this way, even. Like, yeah, I, I am doing kind of fine over here. You're comfortably going this do, way? We need to get, get in here. We need to get in here. I don't, I don't know how comfortable I feel just wandering here without No, I think back. we should open up in here. Okay, so let's do that then. Because we do need to get over here. We got a lot to do. No, we just, we got one. We're about to get the second one. We need this one. And then we need to head here. So maybe I could wander up here and split up. Do we want to do that? I think we should open these rooms and that's going to take time. Okay, so. so I'll come back. I'm coming back. Fine. So I move there. That's my turn. Uh, we're going to have Nut go. Nut's going to spend an action to pick this up as well, which means another Necromantic Artifact. Yay. This time, a Staff of Apocalypse. On a roll six, we get plus one die magic. Ooh. That's okay. Cool. So you get to add a die every time you roll a six. And we get a whole eight dice on a five plus. Wow. Wow. He just likes tons of dice. Okay. That's going to go wow. into his ability over there. And that's going to be a five experience points. It's a points. five plus? Yes. So it's eight dice on a five plus. So lots of just uh, scattering this. That's fun. And then we're going to go one, two. And I get the ability plus one free gather mana action. So I'm going to get a gather mana action to gather two mana on this character. So I have some extra mana coming my way. And okay. that is going to be, I believe, the round. All right. Which means bad things happen right now. We have this guy go ahead and wander. He is, where's his card? Did I take his card into the um, pool? Here we go, Swamp Troll. I'm going to put his card up here to remember the fact we have a monster in play. Uh, with seven health and regeneration, he's going to go one, wander towards you. Nothing to regenerate now, so that's kind of it. And then we're going to spawn, new oh, these guys go ahead and go. They're going to activate there. And then we're going to draw new enemies, drawing at the yellow level. Oh, I knew. Go ahead and mark this. Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up. Each of my guys has plus one action. I forgot about that. Oh. So we're going to go ahead. They both hit yellow? They both hit yellow. So, whoa, wait, you grabbed the wrong one over here. So give me a second to put this in play. We have plus one action on our characters because we hit yellow level. When we hit orange level for the first time, we'll go over all the orange possible uh, benefits as you upgrade. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and have this guy... This guy over here, he's going to wander one more, and this guy's going to take another gather mana action, because he wants to prep up his mana. His mana. So we have another action just gathering mana. You're sucking it up. Then we're going to spawn over here. So spawning in this zone, we have a footman. We're spawning three footmen in this zone. Things are starting to level up. Over here, we're going to spawn, uh, again, footmen. Three more footmen in that zone. Things are leveling it. up. Uh, would you like a free shot at those I people? I do, and I'm going to use the Worm Slayer, and I'm going to power it up with my mana. So I'm rolling three dice. Oh, four plus I hit. Whoa. No. It was a five. <laughs> and a six. Yeah, and a four plus you hit? Yeah, and this one Wow. Like a... That's all three of them. Great. All three of them. Beautiful. Go ahead and get three uh, three mana. I think that means you power up. Yep. Beautiful. And I'll go ahead and spawn for the last zone. Meanwhile, we got a Wyvern. The Wyvern spawns in the last zone. Can we get the giant? I have a Wyvern killer. Does that mean something? Uh, Wyvern killer. It actually probably does. Let's go ahead and see what the little ability on the Wyvern killer is. I don't is. think I have it. What happens oh, if Wyvern Killer isn't listed? Then it's just cool. It's very cool, but we don't have 
We have an ability Wyvern Killer. Maybe I don't have to pay the mana when attacking a Wyvern. That would make the most sense. We can do that, honestly. We that can makes do the that. most sense. It's probably something like deal extra wounds against the Wyvern, but we don't have the ability listed on our sheet of abilities. Prototype. So, um... We can figure it out ourselves. We can make it up of the rules ourselves. Either way, we have over here, we have the Wyvern. He's going to pop into play. He has a special ability movement. What is the ability movement? When resolving a move action, this this creature moves, moves two, two. Two. And he's a one damage, eight health, four attacks. He attacks four times. So be very, very careful of that. And we're going to put that guy into play so over here. So you were coming to help me, Crash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think we could re roll the camera, and I'm pretty sure you said, I got this. But that's neither here nor there. I wouldn't want to hold that against you. This is a cooperative game. Okay. And that's the, the spawning phase. This board is uh, flooded with monsters. By the way, fun fact, there is a rule that you can only have three monsters on the board at any time. If you would spawn a fourth monster, instead they get an extra activation and a doom token. So um, try not to have too many monsters on the board. You can't just run away from them the entire time. All right, so now Archer goes first. Archer goes first. All right, so. Interesting. And he does not have line of sight. He Correct. would have to move or run away and do something else. This Correct. is still closed? That is still closed. Could go in. You could open so the door. Will spawn there. Doom probably. tokens. Um, no, I think we need to take care of this threat. I think we need to unleash. So the question is, do I search first? But I don't think so. So I will. Oh, he does have an extra action now, which is great. I will have him move. Okay. Now should we? We should have him attack the wyvern. Yeah, absolutely. We want to say it just doesn't cost him stuff. Uh, the, I mean, that would be copying a different ability, which I feel like is the most balanced thing to do. I, I think it's more likely that it does extra wounds, but I'm okay either way. It says Wyvern Killer. We can make up how we want. Well, then do you want to say it's three plus on Wyverns? Yeah, there that we would go. Make plus one die on Wyverns. It's a little easier. We're doing that way. Them. Okay. So then I'll still spend the mana. We're making this up, but it says Wyvern Killer, and we don't have a rule for it, so we're, we're just going to have fun. We're professionals. Players. Yeah, we know, we know. Alright, so on a three plus. <laughs> I got one. You got one hit against the Wyvern. Yeah. Okay. So that's gonna be one damage against the Wyvern. We'll put that on his card. He has then, only eight left. Eight? He's eight, yeah, eight left. And he moves two zones when he moves. Alright, I'll attack him again. Okay. <laughs> you got two, two hits. Points. Two hits. We got we're doing good. We're doing fine. Okay. And, and you can then attack, I'll attack one, more. one more time. Okay. You're going to run out of mana soon, aren't you? Yep. Plus two. Two more wounds. Now keep in mind that that, that did give you five AP. Also, keep in mind you also have an extra action. I don't know if you're that tracking was, that. That was one move, three attacks. Oh, wow. And don't forget to mark your extra action. Grab one of these. Oh, uh oh. No, grab one of those. Yep. And put it there. Alright. Yeah, we're doing fine. Wyvern's mostly dead. Yeah. And, like, I have a Lothar. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? He wanders to your zone, and then we draw a card saying monster get an extra activation, and he attacks you four times, doing no, five I'm damage No, I'm gonna each. kill him. I'm gonna kill him. All right, your turn. I don't know if you follow that, but Come you could die. Come and home. Come and home. All right, so uh, it's gonna be Theron's turn. I think that it's very important that we get some uh, health potions to restore us should we encounter an untimely death. Because <laughs> I think that's gonna happen. So Theron is currently sitting in the mist. He's got three mana. But I don't want to get more mana stuff yet. I got. I want to save it up right now because I want to. I want to come deal with stuff. So Theron's gonna. I am like a monster swear. I. Swear. You're something. You're Everyone's something. watching me kill all these major miniatures. I'm gonna kill these alone. Uh, great. In the meantime, I'll play support. <laughs> I'm gonna wander up over here with Theron. Now my ability, my Stormhammer ability, is the adventure gains shove as long as his weapon is equipped. That's pretty cool. What's this guy's health? Uh, his health is seven, and he regenerates. Seven. Don't forget that part. Yeah, I All love right. it. I'm going to move up once with Theron. That's going to be action one. I have four actions. I'm going to open the door. That's action two. We're going to roll a die. Can I get a die? On a one, two, three, we spawn a Doom Token. We did not spawn a Doom Token. Beautiful. Uh, we are going to draw a building card for this zone over here, and we are spawning uh, Dead Eyes. We're going to have two Dead Eyes that are going to spawn in here. Those guys shoot. Dead Eyes attack at range zero to three within line of sight. So they are one, one, ones, ones as far as the ease of killing them, but they also suck because they can shoot you, mm -hmm. which means Theron now needs to decide how to handle that because Theron could move up more. I think, I think Theron's actions are wasted going in there. So Theron can come up to you to play support or we can try heading down here, but I don't know if that's worth it. That might be a health potion, which we do want, but is that worth it? 
Not being right with now. two rooms of enemies. No. So Theron's going to spend his other two actions going one over here and then grabbing that artifact. I'm joking. I'm I was like, action. wow, that's brave. <laughs> The question is, do I search or Dang. not? Or do I open this door? I could open this door. Lothar's still going. He has taunt. I think I'm going to open this door. So Theron's going to spend his fourth action to simply open this door. And we're going to go roll a die. We do, unfortunately, get a doom token on there. And we are going to draw a building card. And it's building. We're on level two over here. And we are spawning two dead eyes oh. in this zone, which these guys need to be dealt with. Okay. I so. wish he had... If he had stayed there, he could have seen them. Yeah. That's okay. You can't always do it. You have we everything. We could have thought about it. That was Theron's turn. And now we're going to continue with uh, Nut's turn. Nut is going to go ahead and take his free gather mana action because he's in the stream. Adventures have a maximum of 10 mana, by the way. They can hold up to 10 mana on them. Uh, and then he's going to wander over here where his goal is to try to take out these ar archers. So action one was a free gather. Action two is a move. Action three, he's going to use a Staff of Apocalypse rolling eight Are dice. Are connected? They are. Should there be enemies there too? There, they should be. That's a good catch. Whoops. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, spawn the uh, enemies in this zone over here, and we got two dead eyes. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh my god. That's not good. Okay. Okay. So. You should close the door. <laughs> we should close the door. Huh? <laughs> wow. <sighs> we need a big attack. I still have. Three actions left, which is the good news. That so I am going to roll eight dice on a You're five like, so I'm going to walk this way, this way, this way. <laughs> I'm spending a mana. I'm going to roll eight dice on a five plus to That's uh, pretty crazy. target this zone over here. So I do need the five plus, And if I roll a six, then I get to get an extra Maybe die. Maybe roll up on here. Yeah, it's reasonable. So eight dice on a five plus. We got one, two. And I can roll two more. I only need two. They're both dead. Great. Okay. Did you you took your five mana fair? Perfect. Yes. Okay, great. These two die. Uh, that's going to be that zone is hit. I go up two experience. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing, paying a mana again to attack this zone, because I can do a 0 to 2. So I'm going to do the exact same thing and roll five, 8 more dice and see what I get. That's going to be a 6. What is that? A it's a 1, so I don't have that yet. But it's a 6, by the way. Now, because it's a 6, I get the plus 1 die. So Great. I'm going to roll the 2 extra dice that I need and plus a 3rd die for rolling the 6. Great. Boom. Beautiful. He's dead. Okay, so 2 more dead. We cut the those out. Everything's all fine. We're uh, all safe. Should they be dropping loot tokens? Uh, they should be dropping loot tokens. What would I do if I do? I'm just like so. <laughs> I got nothing. Okay, loot tokens are on the board. And then lastly, I'm gonna do it one more time because I can shoot at zero to two. So I'm gonna shoot into here. Unless you want those people. No. Okay. I'm gonna spend one more mana, rolling eight dice again. This this the this staff I got was pretty. Fun. I gotta kill these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot into this zone. Now again, line of sight works. So you can shoot up to your range and up to one into a building zone. So I can see here, but oh. What? You can't shoot through it? I couldn't have shot those two. Oh, because they're too far They're away. too far into then the Then I would zone. just count the successes here. Yeah, let's do this here. Sure, I'll like, do that there. That's yeah. reasonable. I'm going to take back that. And this one. And the good news is they can't shoot me either. Right. They have to move out anyway. Because you can only see one. I love how I called out the rules of line of sight in the place where I could do it <laughs> and not the place where I can't. Anyways, that means I still have two actions left. No, I moved, attacked twice. I have one action left. Yeah. So, uh, with my one action left, I think at that point... I should move. Oh, well, I wanted to go in here to get this, but if I move there, they can shoot me. Do it me. on the way out. Yeah. So do I just or stay where? Or if you move back, you can get missed. I already got my free miss oh, this yeah. turn, and I think I want to deal with them next turn. I'm gonna let them move towards me. I might just sit where I am. What if they move guys? What? What? What if they move guys? Then I will get three shots to the face. Two okay. shots to the face. Only two of them. All right. All right. That's it. And, and, and honestly, we're in control. Just things are scary we're doing here. Great. Things are scary here. That's all. all right. uh, I've gone. Time. It's Lothar's turn. All right. So now my taunt ability, that's someone with a line of sight. Taunt is someone with line of sight, yes. All right. So first I'm going to use my bloodlust action to go one, two, and okay. attack this guy. Okay, beautiful. And I'm going to attack with my flail. Okay. For two dice. That's one, one success hit. on him. Um, now you, you automatic, automatically go into the next zone. Right. So, so you now have extra action. Now I have three actions, basically. Yep. Or three more. Yep. Okay, I'm going to start finding some moon tokens, because I think we're going to run out of them. Now the question is, who's more important to kill? Well, the Swamp Troll will regenerate. And this guy's just moving. So if you get extra activations, we have a different problem. But if you're, I mean... I have a free taunt, so I can taunt the Wyvern up, and I can attack either of them three times. The only problem is if you stay within the zone with the person, he's going to hit you for five damage. If you end your turn in his zone, he's hitting you for five damage. 
Whereas the wyvern would just move toward me. The wyvern would hit you for 20 damage if you end your turn in the same zone as him. I want to kill the wyvern. <laughs> you probably would. Alright, so... How much health does the wyvern have left? The wyvern has one health left. Uh, three health left. I don't know why I made that number up. I want to kill that one. I'm, I'm too nervous about it. So okay. I'm going to taunt the wyvern up first. Okay. And then attack. With three dice. Whoa. You hit on a four plus. So that's two damage to the Two wyvern. damage to the wyvern. Okay. And I get to add a die. Let me just make sure. Yep, he still needs one more damage on him. my flail. Okay. Now if I'm in the same area, do I get to spread the damage? Uh, you do not. Um, oh. Interesting. I don't believe so, no. So when you're attacking regular, so again, could be wrong on these things uh, because small differences and whatnot. When you're attacking zombies, you can hit multiple of them because they're part of a horde. A monster, I believe, is a singular oh, okay, attack. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right, so I killed the wyvern. He's dead. You get that other, don't forget to count your AP. You've done three wounds to the wyvern. Okay. okay. There you go. And what do I get for killing him? One of the Job well done. Again? Job well done. Yeah, token. That I still can't get. Now, for the record, it's possibly supposed to should have get the artifact. I'm not sure. <laughs> we have the tokens, and it says you gain. You know what? I'll check it up. I'll check okay. it up again. You do that while I attack him, because yeah. I have one more okay. attack. Go ahead. Oh wait, and now I get five dice. Go for it. I killed him. You might just get the artifact. It's a little unclear because we have those tokens. It says you get a necromantic artifact on defeat. I say you just get it. Just take the artifact then. But right, then do so it for the last one too. Have two. Most I should have two, yeah. Then let's it, take these off. There's a possibility. I agree there are tokens for it, so I agree. That's the part. The part that has me uncertain is. It is confusing. Yeah. All right, so he got the predator. The adventure gains one mana every time they eliminate an enemy with this weapon. And the Scourge, roll three plus hits, the adventurer resolves immediately, plus one free move action, or one free melee action. Cool. Oh, fun fact, I didn't tell you this part yet, but uh, Necromantic Artifacts, you definitely don't get to keep them, scenario, scenario. You automatically have to give them to the patron. That's the main thing he wants. Interesting. The other items, you have a bit more agency over what you sell versus what you keep. All right. Okay. I'm going to just hold on to those for now. Although it's worth noting, you get a free rearrange when you pick up an item, but otherwise it's an action later. Yeah. Yeah, Excellent I don't decision. think I want to put them in. Are you all done with your actions? Did you? So I did four damage at the end when you were looking that up. Okay. I rolled four hits on him. That's going to deal four wounds to him, which is not enough to kill him. You're going to take five damage from him. I know, but I'm so brave. That's one word. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, and then I take four more things. All right. So I believe that's everything now. Okay. I like the Predator. You get mana back when you kill things. Yeah, you can that's have fun. it if you want. No, well, I'm, I'm not there right now. But that's the round. Know, that's, that's the round. Right. We're going to have bad things happen. So this guy's going to attack one time for five damage. So you're going to take shit of five damage in your health. Right here, right? Yep. Yep. You're basically down to half off. Is it ten? I think it's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Okay. He's doing... He's helping. He's doing great. He's, he's doing helping. the Lord's work. The Lord's work. And Stop then we're going to have wyvern. all the baddies are going to do their thing. So uh, these guys are going to move because they can't see me. They're too far away. These guys are going to move. These guys are going to move. And then we're going to spawn more baddies. So we're going to start with uh, street cards over here, starting from over here. And we are going to start with a shadow guards. This time we're going to have two shadow guards popping into the zone. Going to over here, we're going to sort of go ahead and spawn a three footman. So a three footman popping here. Meg, I believe you have a... I can only roll one die though this time. Why only one die? Oh, I kill one, because oh, I don't have any no mana. mana. Oh, you kill one. Okay, you get one experience point, AP. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have this lost zone over here, which you can also shoot. Yep. And we're going to go ahead and have a und... Oh, okay. So, we have a new thing to talk about. We need the undead uh, no notable. I think it's this one. Yes, this one over here. This guy over here, he is a roaming spawn point for baddies. So, right now, what he's going to do is he's going to go ahead and... Um, can I shoot him or no? He is... Uh, he's going to be a two strength, two health... You could shoot him right now, but he's going to spawn with two extra boots. So these big guys over here are going to spawn with him. And because of that... Uh, so you know, I actually can't shoot him. Oh, you can't shoot him. Correct. You cannot shoot him. And he's going to act as a moving spawn point, which means, I Although, believe... I think I can shoot them. You sh they're, they're also strength too. They're oh. all strength too. Now the only question I have to remember this over here is whether they spawn... 
doing each ensuing spawn step. So on future spawn steps. So not this round. So uh, next round, he counts as a spawn point for, um, well, bad stuff. He spawns indicated amount of shadow guards. Oh, no, one second. He doesn't, sorry, my bad. He doesn't spawn the shadow guards right now. He just spawns by himself right now, I believe. In the count in the count zone, doing each. So right now he's just by himself over here. In subsequent rounds, he's gonna start spawning okay. two because of the current level. So yeah, he spawns equal to the level. Okay. So that's gonna be that. We're gonna pop him out and play right now. So if you can take him out quickly, great. Otherwise, he's a threat that we're gonna have to deal with. And that is everything as far as the round, which means it's back to our turn. I believe. I believe Theron starts. We've gone full circle. Yes. Theron starts. All right. Theron is going to start. We got this zone over here. We still want to get ultimately. Do I just want to get in and get out? Do I just want to do that? Because I... we need to get away from here. This yeah, is all just like a distraction. Just run? Yeah, I think so. I think Theron's going to walk into here, grab this over here, which is going to be another five experience points going up to 12. That's two actions. We're also going to get a necromantic artifact because rules. Uh, we only need one more now at this point. We have a whirlwind. The adventure gains sprint as long as this weapon is equipped. Ooh. Ooh, who wants this? Look at that. Zero to three, three dice, three plus, and a one. And you have sprint, which I believe... I believe Sprint lets you spend, uh, move three zones with one action. Up to three. That would be great for us to take him to Archer, because I think that what we should do is line him up so that he's behind whoever opens the door. You can spend one move action, you can move two or three zones. Yeah. So, I mean, if Arthur wants it, that's I'm fine with that, but we yeah. should get Arthur to my zone. So, we're going to put this in my backpack right now because of that, so we're not going to worry about that too much right now. Uh, that was two actions. Three, third action was picking, no, we went one, two, and then we can go back straight out, three, four. Which I might just do. We might just start heading this way to start actually finishing the actual quest we're on. So I'm going to go three, four, and just wander that way. Okay. I think we're going to keep it plain and simple. Uh, that's going to be turn number one. We have now on to, we have Nut going ahead and taking a turn. Nut is going to do that thing again where he spends one mana and rolls eight dice to try to take down the people in front of him. So we need one more die. Do we have a die? There we go. The roll. And we just need to get a six, which means we're going to roll three more dice. you got to really shake it. <coughs> that was a miss. So we only killed one of them, unfortunately, on that hit. So one's down, and I get one AP, moving up one. I could do it again, spending another mana, which feels like it might be the right move. Might be the right move. You know what? Let's do that. We're going to go ahead and spend another mana. You know, we could just roll two on a five plus. Two on a five plus, does that feel like there's a chance of that happening? Or do I just spend the mana? I'm just going to spend the mana. It's not worth wasting a full action. I'm going to spend the mana over here. I'm going to roll again, roll six, which feels like overkill, but you got to do what you got to do. And uh, we got a five over here, so he's dead. So that's gonna be gone, and we get another AP. Be gone. That was two of our actions, and then I think I think we're gonna go over here for our third action, and over here for our fourth action, Dangerous. getting a free two mana gather, so that I can start shooting them the next turn with those guys. Danger, danger. I'm gonna have Theron head through here to get that extra token. All right. Or both of these actually, both of those. Okay. That is uh, that's my turn. I'm feeling I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about things. All right. So that's both of yours. Lothar's turn. All right. How much health does this troll have? Oh, he. For I forgot. Oh, so he regenerates three at the end of each person's turn. So he would be. He's at full health. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah, they are. They need to be taken out quickly, or they are going to uh, basically just regenerate all the time, or with the uh, no regeneration ability. Trolls are very specific. So he's at full health. His wounds slowly healing together, knitting slowly but surely as you stand there waiting for me to go. And you're like, Theron, can you take your turn? The hell. Now, I'm wondering if I can use my bloodlust. Mm -hmm. Once per turn, spend one action to move up to two zones, to a zone containing at least one enemy. Yep. I'm wondering if I can use that to leave his area. Normal movement rules apply. Never mind. So, no. <laughs> Here we go. So, it would be an extra movement. Yep. Okay. So I think I will do that anyway to kind of get myself out. I'm going to taunt this guy here for free. You have to have a line of sight. And you would pull all of them. Oh, it's everyone? Yep. I would have been fine with that. But All right. Well, and we I also do have a roaming spawn point right here. I don't want to leave him out there. He's going to die. You could taunt, attack, and then move away. How much health does this troll have? Seven. Fine, I'll just try to kill him then. I'm worried he at is gonna die, but who cares? I He's don't, already a half health. I I think that I mean running away is not the craziest if that's your goal. You can also shoot you with were her. Like, you, we have no, you can oh you can't shoot. Oh wait, how you how would you even kill this guy? One second. What are you? Well, I would taunt him in and keep flailing him. Ah. 
Uh, Roll five dice you. on him. Go for it. Do what you need All to do. All right, so I'm going to attack him first with okay. my flail. Nothing. Nothing. All right, okay. I'll attack him again with my flail. That's two, two. hits. Okay. Oh, God. Did you get one more die? And that's a pretty good roll. That's four hits. So what am I at? You're at six four. hits. Out of seven? Out of seven. But that is three attacks? That was three attacks. Yeah, so it's in my fourth attack. Yes. And it's dead. Okay. So at least there's that, and you did seven wounds to it. So seven. So seven. Uh -oh. Well, I'm at 21 now. No. You're the one that told me to fight the spawn point. Oh, I so. forgot. I forgot. This on me. This on me. So now we're going to be spawning things at the worst level. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> um, oh, boy. All right. So Not I, the worst. I did one, the worse than the last one. Two, three. I did four attacks on him. Yes. All right, because I get a free melee action. So I will taunt this guy up. Oh, we're doing the abilities right now? Yeah. Oh, so let's do the abilities. So, abilities. Let's cover all the abilities for the people so we can see them. You are now choosing one of these orange abilities. You can either get Iron Hide, which means you can roll a 5 to 6 on defense to avoid thingies, or you get a free melee action, plain and simple. Just what I, I know. Uh, over here, we have two actions. We have a free move action, or you get plus one when using your duo ability, plus one to your dice rolls. Over here, Theron has two abilities, Sprint or free melee action. And Sprint, again, unless you spend a movement to move up to three. And Nut has Spellcaster, and then Spellcaster lets you uh, uh, get an extra spell casting action, an extra magic action. And over here, two wounds combat means I can spend a mana to do two wounds with a combat action instead of one. So that's basically uh, that. All right, now I'll flail this guy with six dice. That seems like a likely chance of killing things. Okay, do you Three have... Wait, 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 one second. We have a small problem. What? He has two defense. I don't know how to fix that. You could not taunt him. That's an Did option. Did the troll have two defense, though? No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, then I can just attack with my flail. Well, how much health does this guy have? Uh, that guy's going to... First of all, he's going to attack twice, dealing two wounds. So if you don't kill him, he will hit you for four. Okay, but how much health? He has two health. Okay. You'd have I'll, to... I'll roll four... Well, I, I would be rolling four dice, and that's what I rolled out of. Well, you have to re-roll so, again. Okay, You'd have to fine, hit... fine. What do you want me to do? I can't... What do you want me to do? No, I love it. I love it. I love it. I forgot there was five plus two. I didn't look at that part. <laughs> Whatever. I still got him. All right, what's he doing? Right now he attacks? Why? Well, no, after Arthur's turn. Okay, then he's not going to live. All right. Lothar's done. He feels a little silly. <laughs> Archer's turn. The question is, do I move in to help this guy? There is a search token, which could potentially get you a weapon that is a strength Wait, two. did the guy drop something? Did he drop something? That's fair. What did he drop? That's fair. What did he drop? Necromantic artifact. I will allow you to redo your turn if it changes, if it's bad. It, it would not. We got a million bolts crossbow, which is a great name. Plus one to armor penetration range and plus one die range if an undead stands in the target zone. So it's a stronger weapon if it's fighting against undead. All right. Okay. All right. So we'll go over to Archer. Yeah. Now the question is, do I have him move in or do I just have him hopefully not miss? I, how are you even killing it? Oh, he needs mana. Or he could search this token and hope for a strength to weapon. Right. Or let me see if I have a way to switch. That still needs mana. Yeah. All right. I have no way to get mana. Who went first this round? Uh, Theron. This so is the last is, turn. Okay, just checking. I yeah. was just checking. Yeah. If Arthur is in his spot... Arthur can take the damage. Arthur can kill him. Somehow. He's you, that two thing? You could, you could search and draw two cards, hoping for the best. What do you have? Oh, that's a two regardless. That... Oh, that is a two regardless. Yeah. Okay. And when did I get You only that? roll one die at a time, though. Yeah, that's fair. And you have to spend an action to equip it, okay, so you have okay, to roll okay, two okay, four pluses. Okay, okay. okay. It was, it was You're a right, good... bad idea. No, no, How do idea. I get more mana? <laughs> You'd have to wander to a zone like this and then get mana. They're here and here. Not the closest. I do have plus one action. You're... Otherwise, you can also search, hoping for a strength two weapon. Final search. You draw two cards at a time. I don't, I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm saying it's like... In, in, no, no, I'm wrong like... deck. Wrong deck. Wrong deck. Are oh, you... no. Right deck. My bad. 
I was like, I felt like that was right. All right, a dragon staff or an evil eye, but... Oh, okay. Plus one dice roll. Plus one to dice roll. Magic if Wyvern stands in the target zone. So do I get plus one to dice roll regardless? Um, no. It's... Oh, if that weapon is on, then yes. But not otherwise. There's no Wyvern anyway. Now, you do get a free rearrange. So with your search, you are allowed to rearrange your other weapons in case you do want to go that route now. Right. Because you could try the Twilight Animal approach. It's not the craziest. Or this Dragon Staff. The Dragon Staff, if you miss, will hit Lothar. Well, even if I move in? Yes. It's a zero? Yes. Ranged weapons still have the downside oh, of missing. Okay. Even okay. If... okay. All right. So I'll, I'll switch this in. Okay. And take out my ghoul splitter. Cool, cool, cool. And I might switch my bow thing right now as well. Yeah, I will. I will put my monster hunter bow in while I'm at it. Mine as and well. And now you have three actions left. All right. No, I searched and I re. Oh, the search, search and give you a free range. Okay. And then is oh that stays. That stays there. Oh, I could keep looking. You could. You could. Back. The only downside is at that point. Right now, if you're going for the twilight anvil approach, you have one I can chance. Move, attack, attack. You'd have to get two four pluses, but you roll well. Sometimes. Okay, sure. <laughs> Go ahead. One. And <laughs> no. Should I bother attacking him? Up to you. I mean, what else can you do? I guess, yeah. Oh, wait, I plus one die. If there's a Shadow Guard. He's not a Shadow Guard. He, sp he spawns Shadow Guards, but that's later. Oh. Okay. Alright. I guess I'll attack him again. Nope. nope. Alright. Okay. Bad guys go. We're gonna go ahead and have the bad guys take their turn. These guys are gonna sh shamble forward one. This guy's going to hit you, uh, dealing four damage, which you can have Archer take all of it if you want. Sure. Uh, then these guys are gonna shamble forward over here. Turns out I should have stayed behind a little longer. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and draw some cards. We're gonna go have some cards drawn over here. We're gonna draw You didn't even stay behind at all! You're like, I'm going in and out, I'm doing all these things. Don't act like you were here helping. I thought you had it. It's all good. We're going to draw a card over here. I do have it. We got the undead don notable. The bishop <laughs> is spawning. The bishop is going to spawn over here. He's going to be spawning two uh, bad guys. Oh, wait. Ah, he's going to be spawning a lot of people. Good. A lot of people. We're going to deal with that later. <laughs> Are you just happy that I have a threat to deal with? Yes. This is cooperative, boys and girls. Uh, we're going to go ahead and draw this over here. We have a monster, <laughs> the Baba Yagas. Can you grab the Baba Yagas? Oh, yeah. That one, are they both of them? Oh, they're both. I assume. I believe, can you pass me the um the th rules? I think they spawn as both. Let me just double check. Baba Yaga, spawn one Baba Yaga in the designated zone, then spawn the other on the survivor starting zone. Interesting. Okay. Uh, when resolving move action, these monsters move up to two zones, and they attack at range zero to three within line of sight. Wow. Whoa. That is not scary at all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then that was this zone over here, which means now we spawn over here. Uh, we're not done yet, though. We spawn an undead notable. The Countess is spawning. Whoa, this is bad. Well, I get to attack her. So She's we'll going to spawn uh, dead eyes over there who can is shoot. She, what's her armor thing? Uh, one. All right, let's okay, see well, if I can... Oh, that's right. You can kill it, yeah. Oh, I kill her. She's gone. and wow. you, That was great because she's terrifying otherwise. And you can immediately go ahead and... Um, uh, wards, you can uh, get a AP, that's right. Yep. And this two, guy two, is going... Right? Two AP. Oh, no, she's a one. She's oh, one wing. Okay. Yep. And then this guy over here is going to spawn three shadow guards on his own. Holy hell, we have a problem. What? What? It's three shadow guards. Yeah? They're strength twos. Okay. On that zone. Okay. Are they going to attack me right away? No. But how do you... And I think I get to attack them now. You do. You do. What's the matter? I, I, I just... Nothing. Nothing. I'm just, I'm just a little scared, that's all. I'm scared. That's all that's happening. All okay. Right. So you, what, what, what are you talking with? How many dice? Which weapon are you using? So that's one die. Oh, well, uh, oh yeah, the shadow card's now. Yes, you have two dice. Oh, that was a four. One dead. Beautiful. Okay. So that's two more points for that's me? That's two more points and one dead. Okay, okay. Maybe that, that extra die thing is a big deal. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't panic just yet. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. And now it's our turn, starting with Nut. Nut is over here, staring down a hallway of, of baddies. Uh, Nut's going to start with his free action to gather mana. 
And then he's going to probably go ahead and use a Staff of Apocalypse on these guys, although there's a lot of things going on. Maybe I should just run back and help. Is that what's going on here? I feel that's what's going on here. I don't know. I do, I, I feel like that's what's going on here. So, whew. I truly don't know. I'm going to wander over here with one. I'm going to spend a mana to start attacking, and I'm going to use my, my Staff of Apocalypse to attack this guy. This is, is Bobby Yaga's are twos. Oh, that's a problem. I can't use my Staff of Apocalypse for that. Okay, Baba Yaga's are two health. I could use my Staff of Meteor. So let's go ahead and start with that. I'm going to use my Staff of Meteor. I'm going to add two dice to it. So I'm going to be rolling four dice on a five plus. Okay, because at least it's a, the, the strength I need. So two to four dice on a five plus. And we are good. We got a five, six, and six. That's overkill. Unnecessary, but he's now dead. And I go up two AP. So 17 over there. Um, that is, is feeling good. We're feeling good over here. Okay, that's action two. Now action three could be shooting these guys. Action four could be shooting those guys, which I think I'm okay with that. I will be able to control some of the board. So action three, we're going to shoot down here. I'm going to spend a mana to be able to roll eight dice on a six plus. Well, eight dice on a five plus, but with the six is getting extra. That's one hit. And I have two more. Two more dice to go. Six. I mean, five or six, five or six. There we go. Beautiful. They're both dead. So we have two more dead and two more AP. We are now up to our next level. I'm going to go ahead and do I want Spellcaster where I can get an extra attack. Let's do that. I'm going to do Spellcaster. So I get an extra attack now. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and use that extra attack right now to go ahead and attack here. Spending one mana and rolling six. Trying to hit that zone. Whoa. That zone's as dead as can be. Do you see this roll? That's know, insane. That's really good. I'm going to knock these guys out and go up three more. We'll go up to 22. And I have one action left, which I feel at this point should just be gathering mana because I'm going to need more mana to continue to power myself up there. So that's my entire turn. That was Nut going. Nut's happy with his turn. And it's uh, to you, to Lothar. All right. I'm going to start off with my free melee action mm -hmm. against this guy. There, he, you wouldn't be able to... Oh, free melee action. Sorry, yes, yes. The flail won't help, but the free melee will. Sorry? The flail can't attack because there's, there's only strength one. Oh, so I can't. You can still him? you can still do free melee action, but with the wailing flail. Is he's not a? They're all strength twos. They're all strength twos. Yes. Oh, I thought he wasn't. That's why I was. What afraid. about them? Um. Well, you would take you three actions just to leave the well, spot. Well, no, I'm Four just actions. asking. Uh, they're strength two as well. Okay. Um. All right. You do so, have the wailing flail. I know, but I can only do it once. Yes. But that once could kill two of them, maybe. How? If you got four fives. Okay. Um. I'm going to, I mean, I guess I have to spend it. Okay. Well, actually, can I, I could take things from Arthur. You could, re oh, that's right, you could actually, yeah. You could do a free rearrange and then hit a few times. I could take a random. Yeah, I'll do a rearrange. Go ahead. I think. This is action one. Um... Because I'll have him take this anvil. Go for it. But I like his flail, so we'll keep that. I'll we'll have him move this one out. Put okay. this one in. You can rearrange any and number of goods between characters when you do this. We'll have Arthur. By the way, just so you know, everyone, this is the easy scenario. The next <laughs> one we have is also the easy scenario. This is, this is not bad. I want to give him something kind of ranged. Here we go. We'll give him that million bolts crossbow. Okay. But I think actually we'll give him, we'll have him hold the evil eye for now. Okay. All right. All better. So then I'll keep this for now. And I will use the Twilight Anvil first against this guy. So I'll okay. get the plus one die. So Beautiful. I have two dice. Yep. And on a four plus. This is your first melee attack. Boom. Wow. He's gone. You get two AP. So I get a f that was my free melee. Yep, you have three more attacks. Well, three more actions. If I'm no, no, that was your melee attack. So that you'd have free trade with your basic actions. So you have three more I'm actions. Saying, yeah, you said three more attacks. Three more actions. Yes. All right. So I will then attack this one. Another two dice. Okay. So nothing. Two more actions. I'll attack again. One more <gasps> action. One wound. Ah! I should have paid the. No, you did. Yeah. I should have done this on the last one though to try to kill it. Mm. 
Okay. Can I roll two no, dice? No, 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 no. Okay. Arthur's turn. All right. So now, I hate them. You're doing fine. I know. Oh wait, great. I did one more damage. Yes. Okay. All right. So I will have him. It would cost him to move to leave. Oh, he can't hit anybody. I should have not set him up like that. Well, you're going to trade, you could trade back the t- Twilight Anvil anyway, which would give you a full rearrange anyway. Yeah, but that would take me the action. Yeah, yeah. What's your alternative? I just should have not put that as his front mm-hmm. thing. Okay. When I did, because when I did if the trade. Have, if you I'd, have something, by all means. Yeah. yeah. Like, this would still hit. But I mean, it misses would hit Lothar. Oh, because it's ranged. Jeez, it's hard to hit anybody. You, you don't have mana. You're, you've been wandering into the the breaches with like no no tools. Well, I know. Okay. Um, I guess I'll take a trade action. Go for it. I don't love it, but I'll do that. And then I'll just attack. The same yeah. thing. Three actions. This is this is this is not an uncommon thing to do in, in the zombie side. That's one hit. This guy's dead. And no. you have... Can I have chosen who I hit? Wouldn't you want? Okay, sure. Because I get an extra die. If there's any shadow guards, there's both shadow guards. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And you have one action left. And it's still alive. Okay. But at least you only and have... I did one damage? Shadow guards attack for how much? You did one damage, yeah. Shadow guards attack for, I believe, four. Okay. Two hits, two attacks of two each. Okay. Doing fine. Doing fine, fine, fine. Okay. Right. Uh, we're actually, actually, we still have a turn left. It's still Theron has an, has an action. Theron can go one, two, three, and attack. I mean, is it worth him being stuck over there? Like, we're all just I don't know stuck. if I want your people to be lower than they are. Okay. Four wounds. I mean, this person is yeah. going to move twice. They, uh, they move twice. That's what it says, right? Baba Yaga's. When resolving move action, they move up to two zones. They attack at range zero to three. Okay. So... As long as I stay out of the line of sight, I think it might be worth it. Like, I just don't want, I don't want you getting more stuck here. Well, no, they would move two and then have line of sight. Yeah, and we can kill next turn. But the I'm question is... i they're going to attack us. Not this turn. They don't get two actions. Oh, I see, I yeah. see. They move twice, but they do not get another action. So I think I'm going to go one, two, three, and just attack. So I'm looking at, I have my, my magic. I also have shove, which is a different story. I could just shove the guy away, but I don't think it's worth it right now. I think I'm just going to attack, rolling four dice on a three plus. So I'm going to attack, and that's four dice on a three plus. Can I get two more dice over here? I got them. Perfect. So four dice on a three plus. We're going to go ahead and roll, and we got him dead. So we are no longer under that guy. He's dead, and um, we're all alive. Oh, wait. The first guy Balthar killed would have maybe dropped something. He's, uh, no, he's, I don't believe he drops a special loot token. Do they drop a regular loot token? Uh, with, with that one, now they will, because it's part of the mob. Which we can move one because let's move this one over here. Okay. And that was my turn. Which All means right. bad guys activate. We're going to have these guys go one. These guys are going to go one. This guy's going to go one. He's going to be spawning two. This guy's going to go one. And then the closest is either way. So let's have them move up here. Why not? Because we can shoot them down anyway. Um, then we can go. Unless you prefer to go here. No. Okay. Then we spawn. We're going to go ahead and start spawning over here. So we're going to spawn uh, three shadow guards in this zone. We have to wander through all these guys. In this zone, we're going to spawn one Warhog. That's that. Oh, the Warhog's this out. One? Yeah. What's the special ability? Um. He's... Oh. When resolving a move action, this monster moves up to two zones. Okay. He has three armor penetration. Nice. We don't have anything that does that. I think I do. I think I might. For right now, we are I think not... I just gained something. A three? Yeah. I oh, feel like he something is. I just saw gave me that. We need some sort of ability on top of a plus two or something, but either way, for right now. Right here. You have it? This thing has a three. You see? That's a. Th- oh, yeah, yeah, the predator. We need the predator to take him out. But I need mana. We'll, we'll have to get that. Don't you have one mana still? You have one mana, technically. <laughs> okay. I have one. Uh, then the. So that was the Warhog. Uh, Wait, I, I think I did this wrong. The Shadow Guard was over here. The Warhog was over here. And now we're going over here. And we draw Undead Horsemen. Three Undead Horsemen are over here. Two actions per activation. These sculpts are pretty fun. Okay. Okay. 
That's these guys. And oh, uh, you'd have to have a two strength weapon. No. Okay. Oh, wait, I do, I do. Do you have? Nope. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. It's no, really. Okay. That's gonna be there. And then lastly, on this zone, we are going to spawn three regular walkers. We are fine. We got this. We got this. This is easy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Are we good? Back to our turn. We can do things again. You want to know something funny? What? This guy has like 30 health. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm aware. Okay. I'm very aware of how it is. Who's first? Whose turn is it? Um, is it Nut first? It is Nut went first last time okay, because so they went last. So now it's Lothar goes first. All right. What's our plan here? I think the plan is get away from here because we need to start making our way here before things get worse than they already are. Um, I mean, ranged actions to take these people out, not the worst. Uh, but past that, I think we just head up that way before things get bad. Cool. Um. Okay. I will move one. And then use my bloodlust thing mm -hmm. to go one, two, and attack. Okay. And that thing needs a two. That thing needs a two. And she has two health. Okay. I'll also note, by the way, uh, Simon, that you said this scenario is an hour. Maybe that's for experienced players. And five plus. <laughs> Dead. Dead. That was good. What did I you roll? It. You rolled your Wailing Flail. Beautiful. All right, they're dead. You get two more experience. And what else do I get? Uh, you get a, a necromantic, necromantic artifact. We're going to run out of those bad boys. There's another three. Ooh. A spear launcher. I like that. I like the weapons here. All right, so I moved. You then did and a then charge. I did... Yep. You have two actions. So, so I have two actions left. And you and plus a female. Right. But I think that I'm going to move here and then get the mana. Beautiful. So, how much do I get as an action? Two. Okay. All right. Arthur's turn. And then Arthur. Um. So, are we caring about attacking people? No, I right? Think, I think get out of away. here. I think get out of here. Although, if he kills, if he does two more damage, although he can't attack anybody really. No, no, he needs oh, mana. He could with this, but I don't want to summon an attack that for no reason. That's scary. All right, so I'll have him go one, two. <laughs> it's a little boring, but it is what three, it is. Three, four. Yeah. Okay. And then I think there. I, I only wonder if I should have him do one less and double search because he can get two and have him land there. Then he'll be in your zone next turn. He'll go one, two. So that's up to you. What do you think? I think your people are the ones that are dying for a reason. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rude. Rude. Um, I'm going to go ahead. And <laughs> I don't think that. I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, three. And I think I'm just going to go four into here. So we can start gathering these various gear. Because I do want to get some of this stuff over here. Um, then I'm going to go with nut. And Nut's going to go ahead and go, um, Nut is some options over here. Nut can basically spell cast into the zone, which I think we'll start. We'll start with our free gather, our free gather of free gather mana. And then we'll spell cast into the zone, spending one mana to roll eight dice again. I'm just taking the Staff of Apocalypse, it's really working for me. It's pretty cool. And two guys dead, beautiful. Two more XP. We got bump up to 24. What's your mat? what's Lothar at? 26, so I'm still not even the most yet. Okay, uh, then we're gonna wander one. That was our free spellcast action, so we've done no actions yet. I'm gonna wander one, that's my first action. Uh, then I'm going to shoot, oh, interesting. I have to spend mana to do that, because there are guards. I will spend four mana. I'm gonna spend all my wow. mana. So this is my this is my second action right now. Second action, and I'm rolling six dice and a five plus. Six dice and a five plus, second action. That was, not the best. Mm, okay. That's really not good. Um, and then I will... I think I'm just going to gather mana twice, I think, because I don't think there's a better thing to do right now. This guy's a scary part. Yeah. He's still don't spawning worry, we'll stuff. we'll get him next time. Yeah, I think I'm just going to gather mana twice so that next turn I can do a very powerful attack into that zone again. So uh, this this mana resource thing is, is fun, but I need to actually hit. That was an abysmally bad roll. 
it is what it is. Uh, that was the entire round. It was a bit of running away, but we are positioned for actually winning now. We are totally, totally got this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have the enemies activate. We're going to go one, two. We're going to go one, two. Uh, we are going to go ahead and have these guys go one. These guys go one and one and one and then start spawning. So uh, this guy's going to spawn three guys. We'll just do that right now because why not? So we got six people in their zone. We got to be careful there. Uh, we're going to have to spawn over here. What's the, is there a limit? Uh, there's not a limit. Nope, nope. There's not a limit. I didn't, I didn't even think <laughs> we go so. go over here. Uh, we got three undead horsemen. Oh, now if we spawn more undead horsemen, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have an extra activation yeah. on the monsters. Oh, that's not good. No, it's okay. not. Uh, we're going to go ahead and spawn over here, which is going to be an Elder Troll. So, fun fact. This is how the game works over here. The Elder Troll is currently the, the monster we're fighting against, which means he doesn't actually activate. Rather, when you draw his card, all monsters get an active extra activation, and you spawn a Doom Token on the boss. So the monsters, which is only this one, is going to wander into here. Fortunately, he doesn't get two actions. He just gets to, uh, he gets the two movements. So he's now in our zone. So we're good. We're good. Yeah. We're now going to spawn over here and hope nothing bad happens. We have Blinding Mist. For the next game turn, no line of sight can be traced from, to, and through mist zones. I hate that so much. So he can't shoot into the zone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. So only melee works with mist, basically? Um, basically, the, yeah. The melee will still work. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty cool art. Yeah, that, I mean, it's fun. We might lose. Oh, you think? Oh, no. oh, we might. <laughs> yeah, that's a possibility, I think. Is this just dawning on you? Okay. All right. Is it... This is easy mode. Michael Sheenal, did you have anything to do with this? Is it our turn now? It's our turn now. All right. So who's first? Lothar? Uh, no, Lothar went first last turn, I believe. Are you sure? Yes, I think so. Not end of the round. Oh, so yeah. Arthur goes first. So does it cost him just one extra movement to move away from this guy? Yes. Well, that's nice. Yeah, but you're also in a mana zone. You can grab the mana. That's true. And then start swinging. Yeah, but this guy's a three. Then you do you have the thing that does three? He does. And I don't want to keep doing Well, you're, the you swap. can do a rearrange and swap I right now. I hate that. Job to you. <laughs> I'd rather move away and try then to move do something away. useful. Then move away. Whatever works for you. Yeah. All right. So I will... It costs him one extra movement to move away. Yes. So I'll go one, two, three. Okay. Up with you. And then, do you want me to pick that up? By all means, go all right, ahead. So, we'll see what this is. That's going to be a necromantic artifact. All right. Which is ironically. No, no, other one. It's a crawler. I didn't realize there were crawlers in that deck. Well, there are. Okay, we now get. Okay. <laughs> so, this is. It's, it's worse than you think. Okay. <laughs> it's worse than you think. <laughs> Because that is our fifth Doom Token, which means these Doom Tokens reset. Mm -hmm. We are going to add a stage card. This is effectively a full another life for the monster. Okay. But because it's doing the active phase, it's worse than you think. We now go to the inactive phase. The boss is inactive. So we spawn one horseman in each active spawn zone. Guess what we don't have any more of? Horsemen. So guess who activates right now? This guy. Guess who does three damage? No! Oh, that's okay. Three's okay. Times three. I hate you. Why didn't you say it like that? Because I realized we just lost. No! Oh, no. From a crawler? From a little crawler? So, basically, here's what happens, okay? So, that guy activates because since there are no horsemen, the monsters get an active extra activation. Which also means we got extra doom token over right here. Right now? Though? Right now. In the middle? Yeah, in the middle. Right now. We didn't kill a horseman, so this guy activates. Uh, so that is going to go ahead and um, that's going to go ahead and attack. That kills you because it does nine damage to you. You can't take nine damage. You don't have iron hide or anything to protect you. And the way it works when you die in this game is if we do not have health potions, basically this is probably a health potion. There we go. If we had a health potion, uh, because there's two health potions in the game and two what's it called? Um, if we had a health potion, the, the other one's going to be over right here. here. Like, that would have helped. Then, uh, if we have a health potion, then you are allowed to basically keep playing, and we can use our health potion to bring that guy back to life. If you haven't yet gotten the health potion, it's too late, and it's over. So. It makes sense, though, that Lothar would have been <laughs> the one to die. <laughs> that was easy mode. We didn't even get up to the boss. 
I have to tell them how the boss works. We didn't even get to see them. I have to tell them how the boss works. Tell the people how the boss works. You have to at least see how some of this goes. So let's say we got to the boss. Let's say we got to the boss objective. Let's say we got to the boss. Just to be clear, we lost. Completely achievable. Let's say you got to the boss. Not a big deal. You're having a smooth time. No one's dying. You got all the way up to the boss. We made our way. We got up here. We got this guy up here. He got to the last last objective. We opened the door. The boss is now in play. So the boss is this guy over here. Completely guy, doable. Completely doable. This guy over here has one, only one, one strength, one strength, one armor defense, ten health. He does have regeneration, so he is healing three at the end of each turn. So unless you have that no regeneration weapon, which you do have, yeah, he is striking four times for eight damage per hit. So that's not the best, but whatever. Just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. It's all good. Just don't get hit. You're like don't three. Okay. Times three. Yeah. I'm so angry. Uh, but then, when you kill the boss, because that you have to do that, you eventually kill the boss. He's dead now, right? We're good. Except now you draw one of his stage cards, and you spawn two horsemen in the boss's zone. The boss heals all its wounds and does not move. But now there's two horsemen in the zone. Okay. Then you kill him again. But and if then you can't spawn the horsemen. Then you have to get again. <laughs> <laughs> then we kill him again. We kill him again. Like extra. This time, this one, this one says spawn two horsemen in the boss's zone. So we got two more horsemen spawning in the zone. And then the boss heal all his wound is moved to the zone with the most survivors. Pops oh over the Lord. board. Wherever that is. In case of a tie, players choose. Then we kill him again. Assuming we didn't get more doom tokens to then make you it kill more. Him again. And then we spawn two more horsemen in the boss's zone. These are all horsemen. Are they always horsemen? I don't even know. Then the boss heals all his wound is moved to another zone with the fewest survivors. And then, then we kill him. Then win. you kill him. Then you kill him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very achievable. Easy. This is easy? This is easy. Maybe it was medium. No, this is easy. This is the one labeled easy. I feel like, though, like, because it's new, playtesting, whatever, I'm sure this is actually no. a medium no, to this, hard scenario. This is easy, but Michael Sheenal was involved in the game design. I have to assume. Yeah. I have to assume. I would give it <laughs> medium. Anyways. That has been the easy starting scenario <laughs> of uh, the Dead Keep. Uh, this has been the playthrough that you're getting because we lost, and let's be honest, you probably prefer it that way. It gives you a sense of uh, accomplishment when you actually win. I hope to return to this with the second gameplay, pretending we won the first one. Or maybe playing it off camera too until we do win the first one. That's a different conversation. I hope to be returning with the second gameplay. We should tell AP that we won. We should tell. We should. Oh, that make him, that make him feel bad. Yeah, yeah, He doesn't yeah. watch our videos anyway. But the stakes anyway. very high. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, until, until next, next time, time, I'm Alex Radcliffe with Board Game Co. This has been your starting playthrough of The Dead Keep on easy mode. I'm and Professor Meg. Have a good one. Thank you to see my games. <laughs>